Hey there, I'm Julie from This Beautiful Farm Life. And today I'm in the sewing room finishing up a wool felt pillow project that I've been working on for a very long time. I love to sew and one of my real big loves is quilting, of course. But I also love to do some wool felt applique and some embroidery. So I have had a project that I started a couple years ago. It is called Robins in the Blueberry Patch. And I designed it um, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but it's a big, big pattern. So I'm going to show it to you and I ended up making it into a pillow cover. So today I'm going to just be showing you a little bit about my pattern that I made and a little bit about how I sewed my pillow cover. Someday I hope to have my applique patterns for sale and I will link that back up here someday soon if I do that. But for now I want to just show you what I'm busy working on and see if you want to make a pillow with me. So this is my pattern. It's all made with felted wool. And I love wool. There's so many colors and textures, and um, I, I just think it's the most beautiful fabric to work with. And when you cut the edges, they do not fray, and you can just sew them right down. So I love wool felt projects and designing them. So this one, I had a really big picture, so it became a very long pillow. But I have a pillow just this size that has a fall wool felt um, design right on the front of it, but I don't get to use it all year and it's actually sewed onto the pillow. So I decided that I was going to make this a pillowcase to go over my other pillow so I could use it the rest of the year in my home. So um, just for fun, I decided to put some great blue ticking on the back and I thought that just really set off the design um, really well with the blues on both sides. And then on the end where the pillowcase opens, I actually made a little cuff so that when it's the pillow form is inside, it will show and be really cute. So. Um, it's a really quick sew project and I'm going to show you how I did it. So let me turn my pillowcase wrong side out again so you can see the process that I went through to, to make this. Now you don't have to have a wool felt project to make a cute pillow like this. You could just pick two cute fabrics and sew them together with a cute cuff the same way. But if you do have an embroidery project or a wool felt project that you want to do this with, that's even better. So whenever I do embroidery or any kind of wool felt or handwork, I always put a, a stabilizer, an iron-on stabilizer on the back of my project so that you can keep that um, fabric stable and while you're sewing it doesn't pucker and make a funny design on the front. I always lay that on to the back of my project before I begin sewing. So my design fit on an 18 by 34 inch piece of linen fabric. So I cut my backing 18 inches also, but instead of just um, 18 by 34, I actually cut it 18 by 37. So I could have a little bit of extra for this little cuff that I made. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when you sew your pillowcase is sew this finished um, applique piece over, double it over twice and sew it down just to give it a nice clean finish. Then you're gonna wanna do the same thing with your ticking piece. Um, double it over, sew it down, make it nice and clean and finished. Then in order to sew them together, you're going to fold your ticking piece to, this, to be the same length as your embroidery piece or your front piece of fabric. So you're gonna fold it right side down against itself so that it's the same length from the bottom end to the top and they come out even. And then you're going to pin them together, all three layers, so that ticking piece will be folded up and sewn inside right there. And you'll just sew all the way down and around and back. And that's all there is to it. 
So the last thing that I do before I turn it inside out, I do a couple things. I always clip the corner so that when you turn it right side out, it lays smoothly and there's not a bunch in the corner from this fabric that piece. The other thing that I always do is I do a nice little zigzag all the way around because this is a, both the ticking and the linen are quite um, easily frayed and that just keeps those edges clean and they don't keep fraying. So everything is clean and good to go. So that is all you have to do. And then you're basically turning your pillowcase right side out. And always be sure to get right in there in those corners and push them out so that they look good on your pillow. They're not all bunchy. And here's your cuff. Now it's on the outside. And all you have to do is put your pillow um, form in and roll that over and it's done. But I love this project. It's simple and it's easy. Made with the ticking fabric. You could even do the same thing on both sides or you could put contrasting fabrics. But I hope you enjoyed this and I'll have more pictures so you can see the beautiful um, wool felt project on the front that is Robins in the Blueberry Patch. Thanks for joining me in the farmhouse today. Please hit that subscribe button so you can get more of my posts in your inbox and come back and join me again for fresh nourishing food, wholesome living, and simple farmhouse beauty. Bye now.